stampers. This is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm happy to show you how to make this whirl, give it a whirl card. And this is really cute with the otters. So they spin around and each otter is different and it has a party hat on its head. Isn't that fun? These are in the celebration, these otters are in the celebration selection. So they might not be available too long. It's only actually till February, end of February. I also made another card using the same dies. And this one, I can't remember the name of it, but it has the uh, giraffe and it says ouch. And the sloth, it says sigh. And then the turtle that says sigh and the sentiment is hope things get better soon. So it's just kind of a fun little card that people can twirl around and play with but still get some joy out of the card. And these do just open up like a normal card. So let's get started. For the stamp set or the uh, dies, these are called Give It A Whirl dies and you get all of these dies, these and these in the set. For this particular card all I used were the frame like this, the circle, and this pie shaped die. So these are the three that I've used. And on the instructions for club members these are the way that they go. So you I'll tell you step by step what I'm doing so that you can follow along and it's on the back as well. For, so for step one it's cutting out the die itself. So I took a five and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. I'll put this together so you can see what I did. I laid it on my platform, my stamp, my uh, big shot or my not big shot anymore. It's the stamping, 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 cutting, and boss machine. Sorry about that. So I laid this on the regular cardstock like this, and then it's really neat because it has a hole here, and on this piece there's also other shapes. There's circle, heart, and a rectangular shape. I want the image to go on the top or the hole to go on the top. So this has stitched on one side and plain on the other. The plain side goes up, stitch goes down. You match up the holes like this and this is how you would run it through your machine. And the result is this piece. I thought that was pretty cool. I was really intimidated by this set for a long time before I tried it and it's very simple. Then you also need one piece of white card stock or well for this card white and you'll run it through the machine like this and these pieces here are going to leave impressions and I'll show you that in the next step. This piece that's left over you can either discard it or save it. You can decide that when you start. And what I did, now this is step two of your instructions, right here. So on this white piece, it has, I don't think you're going to even be able to see them. They're, they are embossed with those, these ridges that are right here. And what you can do, if you can't see them, then take your little piece, your cutout piece, put it on as close as you can to those lines, and then you can take a pencil and just trace around it. Oops. You can just trace around this, then you know where to stamp your image. Mine are dark enough that I can see them, so it's it's a step that you can do or don't have to do. So since I can see my lines, you won't be able to until I start stamping, then, then you'll see what I'm talking about. 
So step three was just showing where the lines were. Step four is the actual stamping. I took two post-it notes, square post-it notes, and I put it on, there's a top and bottom line. I'm putting it on the top line across both of these. And if you take your little piece here, you can see that would just fit right in there like so. Now I'll stamp. I'm using three different uh, images of the otters. And because I want this to have this hat, the hat stays, hat stays stationary. So we want to stamp it so that it will be about the same height for each otter so that it looks like it's still on his head. So I'll stamp the first one and probably about three-eighths of an inch from the top but you want to make sure that your otter is going up and down like so. So that's what he'll look like. You'll move it to the, to the next piece. Again I'm going to put it on the, the little marks like so, like so. Then I'll take my next otter, and this one is a little more difficult to put on there because he's kind of sideways, but if you make sure that his head is up and down, about the same height up, you should be okay. So see, so can he's going up and down. Then the next otter, same thing, you put it over those top lines, and this one has water on it, and he goes about here. So that's how the stamping is done on this one. Then I will color these, and we have some new markers, they are skin colors, or they're d d uh, not devoted, um, designed for skin colors, but this is a beautiful, it almost looks like the early espresso ink, and we never had any dark blends before, and this is for deeper skin tones, and it's the SU200, and then there's a SU100, 100 is a little darker. Basically, I will just be coloring the otters like so, and you color it all around, and you just continue on. I did the inside of his chest area in crumb cake. This one has a fish. I did the fish in Calypso Coral. And here's the dark one. <laughs> and then the uh, nose with the black. And pool party for the water. And one thing I did want to show you for the water is I started with the one that had the water and I started with like around there and I brought it up so I didn't stop at those lines I brought it up stopped kind of down here and it went all the way around so that when you twirl it the water stays kind of at a, the same level and so that's what it it looks like and that will be our step five so here is one already colored everything and you have to make sure that you hit both ears. I've done that a couple times. I've missed an ear. And then the here's the water all colored in. I based it off of this first one. And just go all the way around and color your otters all the same. And while you have your stamp set out, you can do one of the otters for the inside of your card. Oh, this one I did a hat. You could do the otter or the hat. <clears throat> Now that we have it all colored, we will assemble our card. That's how quickly it goes. Before we assemble, I'm going to put this, this piece of designer paper that is too big for this piece, so I have to cut it down. I did a couple of those that were just not the right size, so I need to cut this down a little bit. So this piece should be three and a, about three and a half, or th wait, one, two, three, about three and a half by three. 
and this is the marvelous paper it's called in the celebration paper stack so this piece extends up a little bit I'm not sure if you can see this so you can see that it extends up and I wanted it to curve so I'm making some pencil marks and then I'll just trim that in a little half like just trim that off Oops, that wasn't a very good trim job there we go so now we have just a little notched out piece now I can put this add this to my card That right there. If it covers the whole, some pieces they're all different sizes, just so that you're aware right off the bat. Um, but I put the. If you cover the hole, that's okay. You'll just have to poke the hole right through there. And it's neat because all of these pieces have holes already punched in them, so they everything lines up. The next step is taking a little circle. This one happens to be a one and a half inch circle. It doesn't have to be one and a half. It can be just smaller than this piece, than the big round piece. You'll take your paper piercing tool. You can do it on a mat or you can just eye it up. And, and again, it doesn't have to be exact. Kind of hit the center and poke a hole in the center of your circle. That helps it to f so you can twirl it around better. Next we will take our Brad, which comes from the, all right, I had a whole, I had a piece of bread. Okay, well, anyway, these are the brads. They're round and square brads. And if you got a kit, it would be in a little post-it note, wrapped up in a post-it note, which I am not finding at this moment. So I'll just take a new one. So these are square. You can get the square ones or I'm just using the tiny ones. They come in black and white and they're really tiny. So I'm now putting, oops, almost lost it. I am now putting my brad through the front. Then I'm taking my round one with all of the images stamped, putting that in the back like so. Next, I'm taking my round piece and putting that through the hole, setting it down, and opening it up, opening up the tails of the brad. And then you can just swirl it around, make sure that it's, it swirls for you. Next, we will put some dimensionals on the back. The dimensionals I'm using are the larger dimensionals. You can use large or small. And I'm putting three dimensionals on the circle. You can do three or four, depending on the size. And you can see they're just on the small circle. You don't want any dimensionals on the big circle. So we'll put those on there. Then we're using quite a few uh, on for the next step. But they, it will lay nice and flat then. So I'm putting two on the top. Again, you don't want anything touching your circle. And six on the bottom. It seems like a lot, but again, it, it'll stay nice and nice and even height when you do it this way. Okay, so I have six on the bottom and two on the top and three in the center. And we'll take off our liner things on them. And they end up all over the house and the carpet and every place else in your house. No matter how many times you clean, you'll find them someplace. One lady had them in her pickle jar. <laughs> I don't know how they got in there, but kind of funny. Then we will take our front of our card and lay down our base. Set this on top. And it will be wider on the sides than it will be on the top and bottom and press it down. And again, make sure it's still working. So far, so good. Next, 
So again, if you're, watch, if you're going by the chart, the next step is number 11, and we will be doing the little party hat. So this also comes in the set, and I'm stamping this in black. I'm just a little scrap, and I'll color it in yellow and yellow and red. Do the polka dots red. Goes pretty quick. You can color outside the lines because you'll you'll be uh, cutting it out, and then the yellow. Okay. And we'll just trim this out real quickly. And I'm doing it on the line so that the white doesn't show. I just think it looked better with this one. Try not to cut off your tassel or the little pom-pom. So we have that. Now we will take a glue dot. Make sure these guys are straight up and down. Doesn't matter which one. We'll take a glue dot and put one just on the tassel. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but the glue dot is just on the end of the... Yeah. Okay, so it's just on this little tassel part. So I'm going to kind of hold it up so that it doesn't touch the card yet and hold it by each of the heads. So I'm going to twir twirl it around Make sure it's about where I want it to be for each of them. And if one's higher than the other, then you would sort of just move it so it's at least hitting his head. And once you think you have where you want it, then you'll just place it and push down. And now you can see that the hat stays in place. This one got a little high. And this one's okay. But you get the idea. The next step is putting on the, I'm covering up this brad, I just have a small piece of cardstock, matching cardstock, and I'm just going to put a little adhesive on it and cover up the brad. Again, it's not necessary, but it kind of gives it a little more color too. The final step is putting on the sentiment. This one says it's birthday time. Looks like he's got his hat all wonky. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just stamp that on a little piece of white. We'll cut it off, make a little, you can cut it however you want. Put it wherever you want, but I'm putting it toward the bottom, right in the corner like this. And now you have a really cute card that people will be playing with a lot, I'm sure. And then the inside has the otter inside or the hat, whichever you prefer. This one has the hat. And it's not as difficult as it first appeared. So I hope you can make one and have a great day. Thanks for watching.